Chapter 6 Stimulation Please go to the stimulation menu in the Maple main menu if you want to use electrostimulation. You are now in the stimulation settings screen. Three electrostimulation settings can be programmed. There's one free program. We refer to the electrostimulation advice document provided by Novogare to help you set the different electrostimulation programs. For females, the option for vaginal and anal is provided. The phase duration can be set in steps from 10. The pulse frequency can be set in steps of 1 Hz. The stimulation program is adjustable. Electrostimulation can be gradually faded in and, and out. The fade in time is always equal to the fade out time and can be set in steps of one second. The hold time can be set in steps of one second. The pause time can be set in steps of one second. The number of cycles can be set in steps of one. In parentheses you see the total time of the set program. Select plate or ring configuration. You can choose two plates with the buttons at the side of the grid or choose two rings by selecting two individual electrodes from two different rings. You can select two rings or two plates, no more, no less. When all settings are done, select the stimulation button on the top right of the screen to proceed to the stimulation screen. Now you can explain to the patient that the current will come in at a very low level after having pressed the play button. The patient needs to provide feedback of what he or she feels. The current level starts at 0.5 mA. Current can be increased during active stimulation by pressing the plus button and decreased by pressing the minus button. Caution has to be taken when increasing the power because overstimulation can result in discomfort or pain. It is advised that the power is turned up to maximum patient tolerances, however, it should remain below the pain threshold of the patient. The current is limited to 29 mA in order to prevent point load since the maple stimulation area is small. To stop the stimulation session, press the stop button. When stimulation has been stopped, the session can be either saved or discarded. When saving it, it will automatically be saved to the patient's history for the current visit. One stimulation session can be saved per patient per visit. A previously saved session can be overridden with new session details after confirmation of the user. Go to Patients now. Go to History. Your electrostimulation settings are saved here. 